Now, before we get to the debate, I've got to tell you about one story. The FDA is currently in the process of approving the first genetically engineered animal for human consumption. It's a super salmon. The FDA will hold a public hearing in September on whether the salmon should be labeled as genetically modified if they allow it on the market. And that's considered a key issue in whether the public will actually buy the fish and have it showing up on their dinner plates. The salmon's being developed by Aqua Bounty Technologies of Massachusetts. And get this, it grows to the market size weight in just half of the usual time. And there's a reason for its quick growth. It's because it takes hormones from a Chinook salmon and combines it with an ocean pout, which is this eel-like creature, and that produces the extra-large and very quickly growing salmon. So the firm says that genetically modified salmon can avoid the risks of pollution, disease, and other problems that you can find in saltwater fish farms by raising the salmon at those inland facilities. Now, environmentalists and scientists are watching the FDA and the public's reaction to the salmon very closely. If this is approved, this could open the door to a large range of genetically modified animals being raised for consumption. But I'm not sure that Americans are going to rush to the supermarket for this super salmon especially if they're told that it's genetically modified with eel-like creature DNA.